Tonight, a different side of Steve Hartman, his Catskills routine. No, it's not stand up, it's more like crouch down. Here's Steve, off the road. I have a confession to make. Even though I only do this at my place in upstate New York, after the kids are in bed, the fact is, I have a weed addiction. Here we go. I just can't stop pulling the things. Oh, yeah. Mugwort, Canada thistle, and leafy goldenrod are some of my favorites. That's the stuff. I realized the extent of my addiction only recently, after my cameraman interviewed my wife, Andrea, about it. He goes out at 7 o'clock at night and weeds until dark. I mean, sometimes he's out there past dark. And her point is? It's, you know, it's not weeding a garden, it's weeding five acres. Four and a half, technically. See, a few years ago I had this idea to turn this weedy hillside into a beautiful prairie full of native wildflowers and grasses. I contacted this man, who would eventually become my dealer. We started with prairie plants. Neil DeBall owns the Prairie Nursery in Westfield, Wisconsin. He got me hooked on weeds through gateway plants like purple coneflower, compass plant, and smooth aster. Oh, we're trying to get you hooked. Yes, my product is highly addictive. <laughs> it's called Love of Nature. But here's the problem. Before you see those flowers in the magazine, you often need to spend a great deal of time weeding a new prairie meadow. And Neil made no mention of how addicting that can be. I would come out here every night and dread it. And then a switch flipped. And I started coming out here and loving it. Weeding can induce a meditative state. And that is therapy for all of us in this crazy world that we live in, when you can just tune everything out and focus on one single-minded purpose. Of course, the downside to a laser focus like that is that sometimes the rest of the world becomes a blur. For example, I'm told the prairie actually looks pretty nice now, but honestly, I can't see the flowers through the weeds. I know there are still a lot of them lurking in here, and that's okay. I mean, what else am I gonna do at this point? Just give up on the whole project? It would... Andrea? I could live without it. You want your husband back, don't I, you? No. <laughs> I don't know if I could live with how defeated my husband would feel if we gave it up. I thought that was sweet. I'm gonna take her to dinner. After the first frost, of course. Steve Hartman, at home, in Catskill, New York. And that's the CBS Evening News for tonight. For all of us at CBS News all around the world, I'm Scott Pelley, and I'll see you Sunday on 60 Minutes. Good night.